thank you so much for joining us again. We're going to spend a little bit more time talking about the remnant, and today it's going to be on one of the outcomes for the and remnant. And one of the reasons why it's so important for us to study out the remnant a little bit more is because the father is going to pick a bride that knows stuff. So many people that teach or are studying Bible prophecy, they only want to know what's in it for me. Uh, where's all the verses that pertain to me? When am I going to be raptured? And you know what? What does that communicate to the Father? It tells him that we're not interested in any other people group that he has a heart for, that he is tender for, that he will be disciplining, of course, during Daniel's 70th week. God has given the pre-trib raptured bride promises and he reveals outcomes for that people group. God has given the mid-trib raptured church promises and revealed some of the outcomes for them. Well, he has revealed in his word promises to the remnant and their outcome. So listen to Habakkuk 3.17 because we're going to start out talking about that second half of Daniel's 70th week and this is called the time of Jacob's trouble and this is the group of Jews that they missed the pre-trib rapture of the bride, they missed the mid-trib rapture of the church and now they find themselves in the most dire circumstances of their entire lives. It's the worst period for God's people ever so in look the Look at history. Habakkuk 3.17 and just get a little flavor of what it's going to be like. Though the fig tree should not blossom, and we know the fig tree is Israel. So the fig tree should not blossom and there be no fruit on the vines. Though the yield of the olive should fail and the fields produce no food, no meat, Though the flock should be cut off from the fold, and there be no cattle in the stalls, yet I will exult in the Lord. I will rejoice in the God of my salvation, the God of my Yeshua. So right here we're going to see kind of a lament of the Jews in the second half of Daniel's 70th week called the Great Tribulation. And they are now acknowledging that, okay, they've been cut off from the fold, which was the church. Because at the mid-trib rapture, the church, they're going to be, it's going to be full of believing Jews and Gentiles. Because the Jews will finally kick in, pick up the baton after the bride leaves, and fulfill the Great Commission. So, here we are, the second half of Daniel's 70th week, and these now Jews are going to recognize, oh man, I screwed up. I'm in a, I didn't come into belief when I had time, but I know there's promises for me. I know there's a reward for me. I know that things are going to come out looking good for me. I'm in a bad pinch right now. Israel is in a bad way. Jews around the world are in a bad way, but as for me, I'm going to exult in the Lord because I know He's got promises that He's been holding for me, the remnant. Okay, look at Haggai 2.19. God asks, is the seed still in the barn? Even including the vine, the fig tree, the pomegranate, and the olive tree. It has not borne fruit. Yet, from this day on, I will bless you. Okay, so now we've got to ask, from what day on? Right? When you see something like a statement like that from God, the Jews are going to be asking, the remnant is going to be asking, from what day on? Well, in order to find that out, you have to go back to Habakkuk chapter 3. And you need to read Habakkuk's prayer. And it's a prophecy that's going to be fulfilled for the remnant. Okay, so I'm going to pick out just a few verses in Habakkuk chapter 3. We're going to go verses 2, 3, 4, and 8. Lord, I have heard the report about you, and I fear. O oh Lord, revive your work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make it known. In wrath, remember mercy. So you see, God is going to be pouring out his wrath during the second half of Daniel's 70th week. So Habakkuk, this, the remnant's prayer is acknowledging that. So even though your wrath, Father, is being poured out on the wicked, 
Remember me in mercy. Have mercy. Have compassion on me. Verse 3. God comes from Taman and the Holy One from Mount Paran. Selah. His splendor covers the heavens and the earth is full of his praise. Okay, so really, at the second half of Daniel's 70th week, is there going to be the earth full of his praise? Well, it will be because the raptured and resurrected church will be in their glorified body and they're going to come back to fight on behalf of the remnant. So they're going to be on earth in their glorified raptured body serving the remnant okay verse 4 his radiance is like the sunlight he has rays flashing from his hand and there is the hiding of his power see because remember that mid-trib rapture of the church is God's right hand. He's going to rule and reign with a rod of iron. So the church is going to be that rod of iron. Verse 8, you rode on your horses, on your chariots of salvation. Okay, so they're going to see, the remnant, they're going to see the salvation of God coming on their behalf to help them, to fight for them, to defend them. Okay, look at Malachi 4.2. Here's what God says. But for you who fear my name, the Son of Righteousness will rise with healing in its wings, and you will go forth and skip about like calves from the stall. Okay, do you remember in the last video, 174, we talked about how the remnant was going to be taken to the barn? All right, well, here... After it's all said and done, after Daniel's 70th week is over, after everything it all shakes out, they're going to be leaving the barn and they're going to come out from the stalls and they're going to skip about like young calves. They're going to have so much energy. Their youth will have been renewed. Their lifespans are going to be extended. And we're going to talk about that in a subsequent video. Look at Psalm 114 verse 4. The mountains skipped like rams the hills like lambs. All right, so what is so interesting about this is in Psalm 114, mountains are governments. And so we know that the remnant, the righteous remnant of God's people, the Jews, Israel is going to be a praise and glory in the whole land, in the whole world during Christ's millennial reign on earth. And the remnant is going to be serving in God's temple on earth. They're going to be God's government on earth. So you see, don't get too discouraged now, but all these wicked rulers, politicians, globalist elites that are on the globe right now that are oppressing us, we see we see it more and more every day. We're getting reports. Well, they are all going to be replaced with the righteous remnant. Okay, now Something else that's really encouraging. Let's talk about the prophecies of what will happen to the rebellious remnant, Jews and Gentiles, during that time, during Daniel's 70th week. God says in Jeremiah 50, verse 10, Chaldea will become plunder. All who plunder her will have enough, declares the Lord. Okay, now, at what point did... King David, let's say, go in and take the plunder. Well, it was after he won a great, a great battle, a big war. Da- David and all of his men would go in and plunder the bad guys. Well, obviously, the remnant, think about this. Their homes are going to be taken away, their land, their families, their livestock, their food, all their supplies, all their resources. So they're going to be taken to the barn at a certain time And then God is going to pour out his wrath on Chaldea, which is kind of a term for Babylonia, which is all inclusive of all the wicked. So then the remnant is going to be let out of the barn, out of their stalls, and they're going to plunder the enemy. They're going to take back real estate and homes and flocks and wells, vineyards orchards, crops. They're going to plunder that because God is going to fight the battle for them. 
Oh my goodness, this is so amazing. It says in Jeremiah 50.10 that all who plunder her will have enough. They will have enough. They'll have enough to start building back their lives. Okay, now, God says this to the wicked nations. Verse 11, because you are glad, because you are jubilant, O you who pillage my heritage, Israel, because you skip about like a threshing heifer and nay, like stallions. Well, so now God is saying this is why he is going to completely destroy them. Now, God gives instructions to his hosts in this day. Okay, verse 14. So we're in Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 14. God is going to give instructions to all the heavenly hosts who come back on horses with him at his second advent. Verse 14. Draw up your battle lines against Babylon, Babylon on every side. All you who bend the bow, shoot at her. Do not be sparing with your arrows, for she has sinned against the Lord. Verse 15, raise your battle cry against her on every side. Oh, she has given herself up. Her pillars have fallen. Her walls have been torn down. For this is the vengeance of the Lord. Take vengeance on her. As she has done to others, so do to her. Okay, now this connects with Isaiah 34, 8. For the Lord has a day of vengeance, a year of recompense for the cause of Zion. All right, what is this thing about a day of vengeance, a year of recompense? What is it, a day or is it a year? Ah, well, you know, there is a feast that's called a day. It's not the Feast of Passover. It's not the Feast of Unleavened Bread. It's not the Feast of Trumpets. It's the Day of Atonement. All right. So we'll start out the sixth year of Daniel's 70th week on the Day of Atonement. For a year, God is going to be pouring out his wrath because it's called a Day of Vengeance, a Year of Recompense for the Cause of Zion. Because all the nations are going to be gathered trying to destroy Israel. In every nation, the beast system is going to be trying to destroy Jews. Well, listen to Jeremiah 51.6. Flee from the midst of Babylon, and each of you save his life. Do not be destroyed in her punishment, for this is the Lord's time of vengeance. He is going to render recompense to her. So see, when you study Isaiah 34, 8 with Jeremiah 51, 6, we see that the time of vengeance is a day and that recompense lasts a year. So it's the day of atonement in the sixth year of Daniel's 70th week to the next year day of atonement. So it's a day that lasts a year. Oh my goodness, I hope, you, I hope you're getting this. Okay, let's go ahead further on this. Isaiah 63, 4. This is reiterated. For the day of vengeance was in my heart, and my year of redemption has come. All right, so this is so important that we understand the day of the Lord. It's not the entire week, Daniel's 70th week. It's a day that lasts a year. And this is a joyful time for God because the Trinity is going to be finally pouring out their wrath on the wicked rulers, powers, principalities. The ones that were ruling and reigning in the heavenlies are now down on earth. It's the ones who are ruling and reigning on earth are in that group. The ones who'd come up from the abyss, the pit, they're on the earth. And oh my goodness. Now you see why God had to remove the remnant and get them out of the crossfire and put them in the barn. I think they're going to be there for that whole year. And they're going to be waiting on the Lord. All right. 
this is enough for you to study out I'm I'm thinking and I do hope you study this out on your own don't just take our word for it we've been studying this for a long time and you know it's trying to find the right time to fit in all these details and all these lessons in this course of time you know for seven years we've been watching the Revelation 12 sign you know many of many of us started a full year before it was actually seen in 2017 and we noticed that whole year that we're awaiting the Revelation 12 sign God was pouring out revelation and so you know there's people like me that we've been taking advantage of that and we've been with the Lord every day studying for hours a day to learn all these details to learn about the three people groups and the differences the promises that go to each one the rewards that go to each one the ministry that each one will have how they will serve each other how they're going to serve the globe as Jesus is ruling and reigning his millennial reign and so just finding the right time in this progression it was just time for me to start sharing this and our group has been very excited for this video and I hope you've enjoyed it and if you got anything out of it it would be so terrific if you'd encourage the team here click like share the video and we would love it if you would hang around with us for a while and subscribe all right thanks so much for watching to the very end and I'll talk to you later bye